broadcast, up close and unscripted. Welcome to the broadcast. You know, we always say uh, today is National Blah 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 Day, and today <laughs> is National Umbrella Day, which seems very fitting. I'm not sure where you are in Texas right now, but it's Ella. probably looks Ella. like this. Ella. Yeah, <laughs> out the window. It's um, yeah, it's kind of rainy and dreary, and it's National Umbrella Day. So. And I have to go outside and do a segment, so we'll see how this hair <laughs> <laughs> without an umbrella. <laughs> so I have tips on how you can celebrate your National Umbrella Day. Oh, First of all, this. you need to understand the origin of the word you need to learn about umbrella superstition. You need to consider the many styles and sizes of umbrellas. Wait, what's the, the meaning umbrella? of the word? What's the real meaning of the word? Um, it's evolved from the Latin word umbra, meaning shadow or shaded. And the term umbrella is a flat-topped, rounded flower. Actually, the origin, it really, the first time it was ever used was like thousands and thousands of years ago, and it was to protect you from the sun. Ooh. Okay. A lot and of then we got smart that. and we used it for the for rain. The rain. <laughs> um, let's see, you can consider many styles of umbrellas. That's another tip. This one did not print off, so I can't tell you what number four is. Number five is learn how to care for your umbrella. You know, I have this vision of umbrella now that we've learned more about Jackson's company, um, FluentDallas.com, and what he does is he plans these amazing um, events for people, yes. not really events, but dates, or if you've got some people coming in from out of town. And I have this vision now of umbrella, Hold of like the umbrella. chauffeured limousine, <laughs> yes. and, I get, and I get out, and I can't be bothered with the rain, but somebody Hold comes and holds an umbrella, umbrella yes. for or me, your personal has assistant, my, has my <laughs> <good> umbrella. <laughs> I yeah, like umbrellas that. because people don't They're realize really that they can be used as wonderful accessories. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's truly a beautiful, it's not, it's something that you actually hold to keep you dry, but it's right. also can be something to use as an accessory. Well, there's some with like beautiful carved right. handles and mm -hmm. you name it, and then you can transform them and use them for different things. So, right. cool. happy National Umbrella Day. There you go. <laughs> You'll Stay need one. dry. It's another reason to celebrate. <laughs> Okay, did you hear? Okay, there's this thing, this game. I don't know if y'all have heard about this or not, but I learned about this last week because my kids are playing this game called Flappy Birds. And wow. you may have heard of it. It's a game that you can download to your phone or your iPad. And uh, the kids have really, like a lot, of, birds, a lot of adults, right? it's like Angry Birds, have gotten jumped on board. And this thing was making even up to $50,000 a day. Wow. <laughs> so <game>. yesterday, <laughs> my kids were all a flutter because it word got around that the guy who created the game was thinking about pulling the plug and, and taking it off, off of social media because he was getting so many death threats because the game was so oh, hard geez. to compete at. Holy smokes. So the I was like, kids, tell me, <laughs> what is the this game about? Was so this hard. is the game. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so by the time dinner rolled around last night, the game had been pulled. And the guy who owned it said, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to do this anymore. He was doing really well. Wow. So Those games make so much money. And some of the games that are on, you know, like Facebook and other social media yeah. make tons of money, like Candy Crush and all mm -hmm. those. And um, interesting, though, I read this morning that Mark Zuckerberg and his wife, the founder of Facebook, were mm -hmm. actually the top philanthropists for last year Good for out them. of everybody. Mm -hmm. And they gave, um, let's see, more than $9 million. Oh, my goodness. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's great. That's they really gave awesome. away shares, 18 million shares of Facebook stock that equaled about uh, $9 million. So That's good. Yeah. Interesting. At least they're, you know, making money and doing something good with as it as well. As they should. I don't That's play right any of those games. Do. you guys? Well, well no, yes. But if you did yes. not, if you still have the game on your on your phone, you can still play it. So even though it's, you can't download it anymore. That's the that point. dang on Candy Crush. Because I have been stuck yes, on yeah. one level for probably four months. And when I got down to like the last three candies one time, I'm like, dang it, I'm paying that 99 cents because I'm getting off the Level. Now I'm remember, stuck on a level two levels above that. So. Do you remember Brick Breaker? Did y'all ever have that on your black on your BlackBerry? With, with the Brick ball. Breaker? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh! I would lay in bed at night. Yeah. Like, you don't have too psycho. much time on your uh, hands. No, this was only one playing. time. I've only done this one time. But <laughs> I was the, obsessed. Says the girl who binge watched The Walking Dead all weekend. Yes. There we go. <laughs> I was telling everyone that we we ordered from Grubhub mm. all weekend, so um. had meals delivered and uh, and watched How The Walking divine. Dead. Don't you just it need those actually, weekends it sometimes? Was yeah. I had to cancel a whole bunch of plans because my back was all out of whack, which was kind of a bummer, but then I caught up on some much needed sleep. Mm -hmm. So I know right. you can sleep it's a good thing. Did anyone get a chance to watch any Olympic coverage? Sure. A little bit. Mm -hmm. What'd you a little, think? A little. I didn't watch a whole lot. What'd you think? I always like watching the ice skating. Yes. In another yeah. life, I was going to be an ice skater. Yeah. It I didn't watched happen. the snowboarding, and I just, my head still can't wrap around how they do that. Yeah, I don't know. I watched, the, that. I watched the crash, the, the snowboarder like, who crashed, do do that? cracked her helmet open. Right. And just, That's scary. It is. It's, it's a little terrifying. And, and, you know, when you have some athletes bowing out of events, like mm -hmm. Sean White did, saying, you know, it's too dangerous. Like, right. I'm not going to go down that. that and that uh, tells it all. Yeah. Well, I know you noticed, we talked about this. You can tell that the state 
are kind of empty. Mm. Like, oh, yeah, that was that fall. Oh, mm. Jesus. Wow. Um, not wow. as many fans this year as there have been in years past. Yeah, so. especially in the um, in the ice skating mm -hmm. competitions, which are usually packed. Right. Um, they were trying to say, I heard one of the Russian officials saying, well, usually Russians don't like to be really early to things. They like to, to get their right oh, as Oh, Russians are on CPT? <laughs> <laughs> Is that, like, why do they have that? a RPT? Because you my brother. You what know is what CPT? <laughs> Y'all know. What is it? If you need to know, this? we'll talk about it during the break. <laughs> I'm on time. We'll talk about what it is on. Break. I don't know. Don't know. Oh, they're saying no. You don't want to know what it is. We'll talk about it during. Okay. The break. Um. Anyway, yeah. So Total stereotype, Olympics. but it's all good. Okay. We'll talk about it later. Um. And does anybody? I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Uh. Do you watch the X Factor? No, not really. Well, good because you don't have to worry about it anymore. It's actually getting canceled. Um, I give up. What do y'all want to talk about? Oh, Simon's made his rounds and he's given up on this one. That's, yeah, he's that's going the back end. to going back to his homeland. He's saying so, and it's it's you know when it started out, I think it had something like 12.5 million viewers, and it's never quite gotten back up to that point. But from what I understand, it was still doing really well in the ratings, like consistently really? five, six million it's people a week. It's just not a very good show. I mean, when you have a show like The Voice on, and, and right. I have to give, say something good about American Idol, too, now with this new cast. Sure. I think of, they're um, doing great. Harry Connick Jr. Mm -hmm. and Jennifer Lopez. So good. You know, you just have to be better. I yes. think, do you all remember yep. the old Star Search? Yes. 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 <laughs> do you remember Sam Harris? Yes. yes. Over the rainbow? Yes. yes. There's one for the <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Google it. YouTube it. Uh, when we come back, you're, we are taking you outside the studios to show you two incredible cars that you'll be able to see at the upcoming Dallas Auto oh, Show. Lovely. Very nice. I'm better, so much better.